if you the traditional way is if you're going into a business, you write a business plan, you're supposed to know everything, every detail, whatever. In this case, because it's still bridging that research to commercialization, it meant that there is still a need to do some further research. So we didn't have to have all the solutions, but we did uh, get some funding to work through the best ideas that we had and try to develop. Innovate, Innovate UK is really there to help people who have an idea uh, and there's still an <laughs> amount of risk. It's got to be that it's not something that a company can come along and do straight away economically. There's a risk and the government helps offset that risk if you can make a case for the public benefit of that. And the key strategic areas, environment, health, um, energy, food, you know, those, those key areas the government has funds that are available through Innovate UK, they have calls that help to overcome those barriers to commercialization. So in our case, that was where we were up to. It wasn't the final, we've got this right and it's economical. It's if we did this, this and this with some funding, we could hopefully get to that. And they agreed that that was a good idea. Before I started, I had been thinking about the opportunity and the risk to myself and I, after an evaluation of that and considering weighing up the pros and cons, decided to make the plunge. In, in the first instance, it was really about writing a proposal to get the rest of the funding because I had my life savings. I was ready to put into this if it r was really a good idea, but I needed to get a panel of experts to evaluate my proposal to see if they agreed. And when they did, then it almost made the decision for me. Writing grant proposals is a little bit of a knack. There, it's a, there's a bit of marketing in that. You've got to be able to sell your idea in a captivating way that gets people to think, this is something that I want to see happen. You know, the, the reviewers are often writing, reviewing in their own time over the Christmas holidays or in the weekends or in the evenings, and they want to see something that could really uh, grab their attention and captivate them as a, a compelling case for funding. And so I can't, I mean, Innovate UK do give advice on how to write a good grant proposal. And so help is there. You can look at it online, or if they have a call, they'll give you advice through the, the meetings that they hold to tell you about the call. So it's not that you're just, you're on your own. There is help available. <laughs> That's quite a hard one, actually. It's hard to know, going back, what I would tell myself in the past because you grow so much through the whole process. I think there's a saying, don't let the perfect be the enemy of the good. And sometimes you want everything to be perfect before you take that first step. But there is that, that sort of step of faith in that first, I'm going to take this first step and do something to get this started. Uh, and then things start, they have a way of filling in the, the details. Uh, so you don't, no one has it all right at the beginning. I believe the Virgin Empire was called Virgin because they went into music, they knew, they knew nothing about it and they just did it. And there's a need for people to put action to their knowledge. There's a lot of knowledge out there, but there's a lack of people putting that into action and creating something that would be useful and needed by the market.